Amen. We give God the praise, give God the glory, give God the honor on this blessed Sunday morning. God has been good to us, been kind and gracious unto us, and allowed us to come into his house of worship once again to lift his name up and to magnify him. As David said, oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. What a wonderful day it is to be alive and be, amen, close in our right mind, amen, and be able to come and worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. We say welcome to you to Greater Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church, 3835 Whitewater Road, right here in the city of Valdosta, Georgia. We're glad you come to worship with us here on this morning in spirit and in truth. The Lord has truly been good to us, and we're certainly glad about what the Lord is doing and what he's continuing to do for us. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you glory. God, we give you praise. God, we just thank you for another chance, another opportunity to come into your house of worship to give you praise and give you all the glory, give you all the honor. We lift you up. We magnify you, God. You've been good to us. You've been kind to us. You've been gracious unto us. You keep on blessing us over and over and over again. And we just thank you for the many blessings you bestowed upon us, how you continue to open up doors and make ways out of no ways. Thank you for how you brought us all week long until this present time, Father God, we just thank you. And Lord, we just give your name to praise and thank you for all the things that you're going to do and how you're going to continue to bless your people. And Father God, we pray for those that are listening in, those that are tuning in, those that are viewing this broadcast on today, Father God. We thank you for them, Lord God. We ask you to just touch out with God. Reach out and touch them. Bless them what they're standing in need of right now, Father God. Heal, set free, and deliver, God. Somebody crying out to you today. They need to hear from you. They need a blessing from you. They need a touch from you. They need you to do something great in their lives, oh, Father God. And God, we pray you work it out for it right now, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we give you thanks, and we give you praise, and we give you glory, we give you honor. We bless you on this day, Lord. We commend this service into your hand that you will get all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen and amen. Oh, 
both hands. Clap your hands with me. Come on and clap your hands. Clap your hands with me. Come on and clap your hands. Clap your hands with me. Whoa. Clap your hands if you really love Jesus. Clap your hands if you really love Jesus. Hey, clap your hands if you really love Jesus. Clap your hands if you really love Jesus. Come on and clap your hands. Clap your hands with me. Come on and clap your hands with me. Come on and clap your hands. Clap your hands with me. Let me hear you clap your hands. Clap your hands with me. Now what is the highest praise? Say hallelujah, praise the Lord, and thank you, Jesus, on today. Amen, because amen, he didn't have to do it, but thank God that he did. Amen. Thank you that he did. Amen. We just say welcome again, amen, to you, our visitors and our friends, and to all our members of the McGreater Mount Carey Missionary Baptist Church today. Amen. We give God all the praise and all of uh, the glory. Just a few, amen, announcements, just that you know that we want to, amen, certainly say happy birthday to all those celebrating in the month of July, amen. Happy birthday to you, and may the Lord bless you real good. And don't forget, amen, we're on, amen, uh, summer vacation from our Wednesday night uh, word Bible study, so there'll be no uh, Wednesday night word during the month of July. So please, man, please, sir, keep that in mind. But come back and join us in the month of August for our Wednesday night word on every Wednesday night at 7 o'clock p.m. You can join us every Sunday for our Sunday school conference call. Amen. At 9.20, our Sunday school conference call is at 9.20. It's the dial the number 701-802-5337. That's 701-802-5337. And the access code is 683-1205 in the pound symbol. That's 683-1205 in the pound symbol. We thank you for joining us on this Sunday, every Sunday at 10.15 a.m. Sunday morning worship. You can share, amen, the link with your family and friends at www.worshipwithmtcalvary.org forward slash live. That's www.worshipwithmtcalvary.org forward slash live. You may also give your tithes and your offerings and your donations by downloading the application. Give a little fire to your phone 
or join us on the link www.worshipwithmtcalvary.org forward slash giving, G-I-V-I-N-G. Or you may also choose to drop off your tithes and offering to our designated deacons in the front parking area from 10 a.m. Amen to 11 a.m. From 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Amen. Don't forget Corona 19 uh, drive through free testing is being conducted at the Lowndes County Health Department located on Patterson Street from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. You can call the number 229-333-5257. That's 229-333-5257. And you'll be given an appointment time and a PUI number when you call in. The test usually only takes about less than five minutes. So we encourage you, amen, if you need to be tested, please, ma'am, please, sir, that you will utilize this time and opportunity to go get tested. And we pray that you would continue to remain safe and continue to be mindful of all the recommendations and the guidelines by the local health department and, amen, the CDC guidelines. Continue to uh, wash your hands and wear your mask, amen, and keep your social distance, amen, during this time that we may be able to come back, amen, and worship God in spirit and truth in person. So we encourage you, please, ma'am, please, sir, that you will follow those guidelines. God bless you and heaven keep you is our prayer. As we prepare for our praise team to come, amen, and sing another glorious song to you on this morning.
I said, I was wondering how, how was I going to pay my bills? But at the end of the week, y'all, it was Jesus. Oh, Lord, you pulling me through. Somebody said sickness took over their bodies. And they didn't know if they were going to live to see another day. But they let you know that it was Jesus. Oh Lord, it was Jesus. It was you pulling me through. Somebody else said they lost their job, yeah. could have lost their mind. Ooh, yeah. My God stepped in in the nick of time. Tell somebody it was Jesus. Yes, it was. He was. He was, yes, he was. you pulling me through. One more thing I'd like to tell y'all during this time. Listen, y'all. Situations in life sometimes may get you down. But look to Jesus because he's always around. Tell somebody it was Jesus. Oh, yes, it was. It was Jesus. Oh, it was Lord. you pulling me through. And when I think about it, and when I think about it, there is no way. There There's is no way. way. Jesus. When my way got hard, I know it was nobody but 
my children who kept me as they did. Yes, he did. Oh, oh I, I know. know. I know. Yeah, yeah. It was Jesus. I feel him moving. I feel him moving. I know it was Jesus. Oh, Lord. Yes, it was. Oh, yeah. I know. Give God the praise, give God the glory, and give God the honor. I know it was Jesus. Amen. No, it was Jesus. Amen. Pulling us through. No, it was Jesus healing our bodies. No, it was Jesus turning us around. No, it was Jesus making a way out of no way. Amen. I know it was the Lord. Nobody but God doing it. Amen. We give God all the praise and all the glory and all the glory. And on today, on today, I know you know it was Jesus that did it for you. Amen. Nobody gets the praise. Nobody gets the credit. But all the praise and all the credit belongs unto God. No, it was Jesus. No, it was him that worked it out. No, it was him that made a way out of no way. Amen. Nobody but the Lord do it. Thank you, Jesus. We give him the praise and we give him the glory. And we give him all the honor for all the things that he has done 
and the things that he continued to what an awesome God that we serve on this morning. Amen. To God be the praise and God be the glory. Amen. Amen. We honor God the Father. We honor God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. To the ministerial staff here at Mount Carroll, we honor them in their respective places. To their spouses, to my lovely spouse on this morning, Lady Evelyn Diane Vincent. To our deacons, deaconess, mothers, saints, and friends. It's just good to be in the house of the Lord one more time that we can testify. We know it was Jesus, amen, that keeps on doing great and awesome things for us. Our scripture this morning out of the book of Psalms, the 71, 71 Psalm 71, 71 division of Psalms, Psalm 71 and verse 14, amen, Psalm 71 and verse 14 for our hearing and reading on this morning, amen. God word for God's people on this morning, amen. Verse number 14 of Psalm 71, amen. It simply reads, but I will hope continually and will yet praise thee more and more. My mouth shall show forth thy righteousness and thy salvation all the day. For I know not the numbers thereof, I will go in the strength of the Lord. I will make mention of thy righteousness, even of thine only. Amen. God, word for God. People, Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory. God, we give you honor on this blessed Sunday morning. We just thank you, Father, that you've been good to us. You've been kind. You've been gracious unto us. That you brought us back to your house of worship once again. Thank you that we had a mind to come. Thank you for the place. Thank you for the place that's called Mount Calvary on this morning. And Father, we pray that our coming will not be in vain. But God, you give us a word this very hour, this very day, this very minute. Let your people stand in need of right now, Father. We pray you give them a word on this morning, Father. Give us preaching and teaching power in the mighty name of Jesus. Keep us near the cross. Oh God, begin to touch your people right now, even now, Lord Jesus. Let your power and let your anointing fall afresh on them right now, Father God. God, go through these airways and, oh God, through these, oh God, this internet and viral, oh God. Go through it, God, virtual, amen, telecast and broadcast, Father God. Let your power, let your anointing just go through right now, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And, Lord, we just give your name the praise, give your name the glory, give your name the honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. God bless you. Amen. Psalm 71, verse 14 through 16. But I will hope continually and will yet praise thee more and more. My mouth shall show forth thy righteousness and thy salvation all the day. For I know not the numbers thereof. I will go in the strength of the Lord and I will make mention of thy righteousness, even of thine only. Amen. I want to talk with you just from this subject for a few moments on this morning. Amen. Hope is not canceled. Amen. Hope is not canceled. Hope is not canceled. Yeah, we, we know in a day and a time like we're living in, amen, people feel like their hope is being canceled. Amen. But I come to tell you hope, in the definition of hope this morning, mean it's a feeling of expectation and the desire of certain things to happen and grounds for believing that something good may happen. Other people say it being it's being optimism, amen, having optimism about situations, circumstances, and about life in general. Yes, in other words, hope this morning, amen, has not been canceled. I want to remind you, amen, I don't know what you may be dealing with what you may be going through or what may be coming your way, but come to tell you that hope has not, amen, been canceled. Amen. But there are a lot of things that are being canceled and a lot of things are being considered to be canceled. Yeah, amen. People, contracts on certain jobs are being canceled. Amen. People, amen, school and amen, universities are canceling things. Sporting events are being canceled during this time and various other things are being canceled. Doctor's appointments are being canceled. Procedures are being canceled. Amen. And meetings are being canceled. And things, amen, that are going on that you may need or may, amen, come across 
amen, you'll find out that they have been canceled events and things on your calendar has been canceled, amen. A lot of family unions, amen, have been canceled. Weddings, amen, has been canceled. And then, I mean, things have been done in a different way. But how did you feel when you first heard, amen, that the churches were closed because of the corona pandemic virus, amen. But during the corona, amen, virus pandemic, many churches have closed for Sunday worship in, in keeping with the government request for social distancing. Open churches is, amen, opening churches, amen, praying and expressing faith in God, our source of our hope. Yet when churches stop worshiping, it sends a signal like all other non-essential activities, hope is also canceled. But I come to tell you, thousands of churches across the nation have chosen alternative means of worship, prayer, and fellowship to express, amen, the purpose of saying to the world that Christ and the Christian faith is still alive and well. As long as Christ is alive, then hope is alive. Church doors may be closed, but Christianity and faith in God have not been defeated. Yeah, the Reverend Jesse Jackson ran for president of the United States for two times. Some of you all weren't even born then. Amen. Some of you all don't even remember. Amen. Reverend Jesse Jackson running for president of the United States once in 1984 and then again in 1988. And although he, he lost both times, amen, he raised the hopes of our people that one day a black man could be president of the United States. 20 years later, that hope was realized when Barack Obama was named the first black African-American president of these United States of America. I don't know, but I was alive then. I remember the day and I remember the night. Amen. Reverend Jackson's theme was keep hope alive electrified our people. It chanted across the country and other people who have been beat down by difficulties of those years renewed their hope that God would bring them out into a new day. The people of God still say to the world, no matter what bad things get to come and happen in our life, we will continue to have faith in our God. No matter how bad things seem, we will praise them even the more. Amen. We won't give up on God because God has not given up on us. Yeah, as Christians, we have not assembled ourselves in traditional ways, but our faith has not wavered. I said we have not assembled in our usual traditional ways, but our faith has not wavered. We believe, we believe in the power of our almighty God, and our hope and faith rest in him. Our tradition of worship may have been, amen, canceled, but our hope is very much alive on this morning. And I just come to remind somebody today that you may be going through something, you may be dealing with something in your life, you feel like hope, amen, and your life has been canceled. But I come to tell you, hope is not canceled. The text focuses on David writing here and encouraging words to those who would come after him to be faithful even in times of adversity. These divinely inspired thoughts written by David in his old age. David's life had been marked by several dark periods, some of his own amen, causation and others by outside circumstances. Uh, he experienced attacks from the enemy. Amen. He experienced attacks even from his own son. But there are many years of great trouble, especially in David's latter years. The 71st Psalm, let us know, is written in the general use of God's people in their affliction, especially, especially those that are in their declining years and in times of trouble. The Psalm encourages us, amen, as believers on this morning to keep faith that God will answer our prayers. Amen. Deliver us and he will save us. He praises God for not, amen, casting them off or forsaking them. And he can concludes, amen, in this song with believing praise in verse 14. He concluded that no matter what happens to him, that he will continually have faith in God and hope that God will deliver him from the troubles that he faces. I come by to let you know on this morning that victory is impossible if hope is canceled. I said victory is impossible if hope is canceled. Victory is power, power by faith and by hope. If hope is canceled, victory is impossible. Even though churches' doors are shut, believers must keep their heads up 
and our, our minds open to new ways to achieve our goals of, of worshiping God. Yeah, on a personal level, we must not be, amen, dissuaded by changes that we face on a daily, amen, basis, but continue to teach and continue to preach and tell the world about the goodness of the Lord. He will be the source of our ultimately victory. We're not waiting on victory from a scientist, but we're waiting on victory from God. Eh? We're not waiting on victory from our leaders or our president. We're waiting on victory from God. Those among us who have failed must almost always remember that there is always life after a knockdown because our greatest success in life is not being knocked down but rising up again. Yeah, can I say that again? Because our greatest success in life is not being knocked down but rising up every time after we fall. We must be prepared to fight a battle several times before winning. I say we must be prepared to fight a battle several times before we win. We must not, we must know that everything we need to see is already on the inside of us. We already got it on the inside of us. Yeah, victory is impossible if hope is canceled. To keep getting up, we need hope that victory is possible, that our mission is within the will of God, and we will be victorious. Uh, amen. Can I get a witness? Can you be victorious on the day? We may have many challenges and tasks ahead of us, but we will never be greater. Amen. We will never, amen, be greater than the strength that we have on the inside of us. Uh, that challenge may not never be greater than what we have on the inside of us. So I come to tell you, don't, do not lose hope on this morning. Sometimes life can be rough. But we should not forget that God also, amen, is with us. I said sometimes life can be rough and tough, but we should know and not forget that with God, so are we tough and so can we make it too. If God lives, then hope cannot be canceled. I say if God lives, then hope cannot be canceled. Yeah, I come to stop by to let somebody know that God is still yet alive. The focus of our faith is a living God. We serve a God that is living. Our God is not dead, but our God still is alive. And as long as God lives, there's always hope that we can rise above our present circumstances. In our difficulties, sometimes we forget that we serve a mighty God who provides special provisions for us even in Egypt and in the wilderness journey. Amen. God was there. And as we struggle for the promised land that we hope for, we must not worry about how we will survive after the trouble passes and traditional manner ceases. We must, amen, not forget that because God still lives, is. He still is able to do for us today what he has done in the past and even more. Yeah, when our eyes are closed, let's not forget who God is, what he can do, and what he can do for us. In our daily struggles, we wrestle with many difficulties, often forgetting the one that has successfully helped us through countless situations in the past. Amen. Had the Lord help you along the way. When our eyes are open, we remember that God is powerful. When our eyes are open, we let us focus on the cross of Calvary and the cross that Christ hung on the cross for us and the throne of glory in that renewed our hope. If God lives, then our hope cannot be canceled. I come to tell you that God still is alive. How do you know he's alive? Because every now and then I can feel him in my hand. Every now and then I can feel him in my feet. Well, grandma, I'm going to put it there this way. Every now and then I can feel him all over me. Can I get the witness on this morning? I don't know about you this morning, but I come to remind you that God is still alive and God is yet on the throne and let them know that help, hope is not cancer. I come to tell you still hope. Keep on hoping in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hope means we still trust God. I said earlier, amen, as I open up this text, victory is impossible if hope is canceled. And if God lives, then hope cannot be canceled. But let me remind you thirdly that hope means we still trust God. I said hope means that we still trust God. If hope is canceled, it means we no longer see the value of calling on the name of the Lord. But however, the fact is that we can trust in the Lord. Amen. Renew, renew and revigorates us, our faith, and stirs up our hope that no matter what problem that we face, that trouble won't last 
always. I might need to say that again. No matter what we, amen, problems that we face, that trouble don't last always. Believers cling to the faith and hope. With faith we can trust the words of the Psalms 27 and 5. Since when the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. That gives me hope on this morning. Right in the word of God. Because you can find hope in God's word. Because hope is alive. We can sing with the songwriter that said, there is a bright side somewhere. Yeah, I said there's a bright side somewhere. In our disappointment, God always shows us his grace. In our sickness, tragedies, and setbacks, God speaks boldly, amen, to our situation. And when we find hope, that hope is the promises of God. That hope is what's keeping us going from day to day. Amen. When we have hope in the name of the Lord. I don't mind calling on the name of the Lord. Because there's value in calling on his name. We have his word. What he will make. Amen. A way out of no way. He'll be a bridge over our troubling waters. Therefore, even if we give Amen. Life gives us disappointment. We don't give up because God is still on the throne. Yeah, I say God is still on the throne. So I come to remind you this morning, my Calvary and our brothers and our sisters, don't you focus on, amen, that, amen, victory is impossible. But, amen, victory is possible. Don't you focus on that God is not alive, but God still lives. Don't you focus on that, amen, losing your trust in God, but keep on hoping and trusting in the Lord. And, yeah, the old saints, you say, I'm going to trust in the Lord until I die. I'm going to stay on the battlefield until I die. They had a hope down on the inside. When things didn't look good and things went the other way, they still had hope down on the inside. And I just come to help somebody along the way to let you know that hope is not canceled on this morning. Why? Because lastly, God will not abandon us. I say God will not abandon us. Your brothers and your sisters may abandon you. Your friends and your neighbors may abandon you. Your job may abandon you. Your health may seem to abandon you. Your mind may seem to abandon you. But I come to tell you that God will not abandon you. Yeah, we must remember that God will not abandon us. And there is no reason for us to cancel hope on this morning. I still hope that things are going to get better. God is faithful and he will always respond to our needs. When Noah experienced the flood and the waters descended after a year, hope was not canceled and God sent him a rainbow to remind him that hope, amen, was not canceled. Gideon faced the prospect of fighting the Midianites with such a small army. But, amen, Gideon knew that there was still hope in the name of the Lord. And even today, God still responds, but his response may not be as dramatic as rainbow or miraculous do as times pass. But he gives us enough signs to know that hope has not been canceled. I say God gives us enough signs to know that hope has not been canceled. How do you know he gives us a sign to know that hope has not been canceled? Did he wake you up this morning? Did he start you on your way? Did he continue to put food on your table and clothes on your back? Yeah, did you call a man and your children were still here on planet Earth? Amen. God is still good to us. He give us a sign that hope, amen, has not been canceled. Yeah, you still working. You still, amen, got food. You still got shelter over your head. You you ain't got the vibe, but you still, amen, giving God the praise. Amen. You, you may have it, but you're still alive, and there's still hope that you will get healed and come out of that situation. I stopped to let you know that hope has not been canceled. Even if your money is funny, God still on the throne and God still can turn it around. Hope has not been canceled. Before we burden ourselves with unnecessary worry, we should remember that we serve an awesome God who reigns and bless us in so many ways. Even though we see the sick and the injured all around us, we also see thousands of people healed that remain. It reminds us that hope has 
has not been canceled. See, because, amen, even though we may be in the millions of people that have contracted, amen, the coronavirus, but look at the numbers, amen, versus those that have died. That let us know that hope is still on the throne and God is still on the throne and hope has not been canceled. Those who experienced and repeated failures in life and have been restored over and over again. I don't know about you, but God keeps on blessing me over and over again. That lets me know that hope has not been canceled. Know that the hope is alive and it has not been canceled and our hope is alive today because we remember that what he did for us on yesterday. I say, amen, our hope is alive even today because we remember what God did for us on yesterday. Somebody said, I remember way back then where the Lord has brought me from. Somebody said, I can look way back yonder and see what God has done for me. Over the years, God has truly been good to me and I can't afford to lose hope now but I got to hang on in there. This is not the end but this is the beginning of a new thing that God has for us. Uh, our hope stands firm because we remember that God sent his only begotten son to show us, amen, his love for the world. Uh, our hope has not ended. Our church buildings may have been closed for a while. Our former worship service may have been canceled for a while, but we know that the power of God has not been canceled. I say we know that the power of God has not been canceled. Why? Because the word is still being preached. The word is still being taught. Amen. The songs are being sang in the house of the Lord. We're still giving God the praise and giving God the glory. And that's what the enemy wants you to do is he wants you to give up on hope. He wants you to give up on what God is going to do for you in the next season. But I come out and tell you to hold on just a little while longer because hope is not cancer. We keep hoping because we remember that when we were weak, amen, he provided a strength. We keep on hoping because we remember that when we was down, he picked the supper. Uh, we keep on, amen, hoping because we remember when we were defeated, he gave us victory. We keep on hoping because we remember when he we were discouraged, he restored our hope. Uh, we keep on hoping because we remember uh, that we were lonely and he came by and gave us comfort. We remember, we keep on hoping because we remember that we was troubled and he gave us peace of mind even in our troubled times. Uh, amen, we keep on hoping because we remember that the, we learned that hope was not cancer because when, he, when a child was born down in Bethlehem uh, that came through 42 generations we remember that hope was not cancer we remember that hope was not cancer when he was born in a manger uh, we remember that hope was not cancer when he lived among us for 33 years uh, we remember that hope was not cancer amen some thought that hope was cancer when they saw our Lord lifted on an old rugged cross uh, some thought that hope was cancer when they saw amen him straight out wide and nails in his feet and nails in his hand and the thorn of crown on his head. They thought that hope was cancer. They thought that hope was cancer when they saw the blood dripping down from his brow. They thought that hope was cancer when he cried out, Father, amen, why hast thou forsaken me? They thought that hope was cancer when he said it was finished. They thought that hope was cancer when he said, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. They thought that hope was cancer and when he said father forgive them for they know not what they do they thought their hope was cancer when they put him on and put him took him down from the cross and they put him in a bar or tomb they thought their hope was cancer they thought that hope was cancer when he dropped his head in the locks of his shoulder and he died but I come by to say they thought their hope was cancer when he stayed there all Friday night they thought their hope was cancer when he was in the grave on Saturday morning Morning. They thought that hope was cancer when he didn't come out the grave on Saturday noontime. They thought that hope was cancer when he didn't come out Saturday night. But I come to tell you that God still got hope is not cancer. And they thought it was cancer when he didn't. Amen. Seemed like he was going to come out at Saturday midnight. But I heard the word of God remind me on this morning that early Sunday morning, early Sunday morning, as the old Baptist preacher used to say, early 
day, Sunday morning, that he got up out of the grave to remind us that hope is not cancer. And I just stopped by to tell you that he got up for you and he got up for me and he got up for you, 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 and you. And hope has not been canceled. They found out despite the stone that blocked the tomb. They found out despite the soldiers guarding the entrance that he arose from the grave and hope was not canceled. Hope has not been canceled because Jesus is alive and well. I said Jesus is alive and well. Jesus is alive and well. Jesus is alive and well. Somebody need to hear me this morning that Jesus is alive and well. How you know he's alive and well? Because I can feel him in my hand. I can feel him in my feet. I can feel him all over me. He keeps on making a way out of no way. Hope, I said hope has not been canceled. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. I dare not, 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 I dare not. Trust uh, the sweetest frame, but wholly lean uh, on Jesus' name. Uh, why? Because on Christ, um, on Christ, uh, 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 not on the government, uh, not on my job, uh, not on my banking account, uh, not on you, uh, not on the president, uh, not on the Congress, uh, not on the government, uh, but on Christ, uh, on Christ, uh, the solid rock I stand, uh, all of the ground are seeking sin on Christ that's the only rock oh that rock is higher than her that rock is solid than her yeah 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 hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Hope is not cancer. I come to tell somebody that hope is not cancer. No, 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 baby. I don't care what the news say. Hope is not cancer. I don't care what they post on Facebook. Hope is not cancer. I don't care what they put on Twitter. Hope is not cancer. I don't care what they put on Snapchat. Hope is not cancer. I don't care what they print in the paper. That hope is not cancer. I don't care what they put in the magazine. Hope is not cancer. I don't care what they tell you on the telephone. Hope is not cancer. I don't care what somebody texts you. That hope is not cancer. I still hope. I still hope that things gonna get better. I still hope that God gonna turn it around. I still hope that God gonna make a way out of no way. I still hope somebody's sick this morning. But you better hope in the name of the Lord that. God will heal your body. Your child may be wondering, but you better hope that God going to bring them back. God going to do it for them. You better hope in the name of the Lord. You better hope in the name of Jesus. Hope is not cancer. I'm hoping for a brighter day. I'm hoping for a better day. I'm hoping for greater times. I'm hoping that God is... God is uh, gonna turn it around, uh, gonna turn it around. Uh, I'm hoping uh, that God will uh, fix it for us. Uh, won't he fix it for you? Uh, has he fixed it for you uh, in the past? Uh, has he fixed it for you? Uh, Way back yonder, and the same God is the same God. Way back then, is the same God. Right now, won't He fix it for you? My hope is built on nothing less. But I'm hoping in the name of the Lord. I got to leave y'all on this morning, but I'm about.
about to get happy all over again. But before I leave y'all, I want to tell y'all about a little story, a little story. Y'all remember, y'all remember the television show that come on TV some years ago, days of our lives that used to come on TV about 12.30 in the afternoon on the regular TV channel. Days of Our Lives uh, was a sitcom story. Uh, Days of Our Lives uh, had a favorite couple uh, on the story uh, named Bro Bradley. Uh, Bo Bradley uh, and Hope Williams uh, was on that show. Uh, and I remember, uh, do you remember an episode uh, where Bo uh, was severely injured uh, and ended up uh, going in a coma? Uh, and Bo uh, laid in the hospital, uh, but Hope uh, sat beside the bed. Uh, Hope uh, sat beside his bed. Uh, Hope uh, was praying uh, and telling him uh, how could she couldn't. Hope said, I can't live without you. I can't make it without you. She said, I hope you pull through. This is just, amen, how she talked. She said that she hoped he pulled through. Amen, hope he pulled through. And talked about all the things they done in the past. Talked about what they looked to the future. And she had and stayed by the bedside of Bo. But Bo could hear her. Bo uh, was in a coma, uh, but Bo could hear her, uh, and he began to recount uh, some of the stories uh, that Hope was talking about. Uh, but miraculously, uh, Bo uh, woke up uh, before the end of the show. I said, Bo uh, woke up uh, before the end of the show, uh, and it shocked everybody, uh, shocked everyone. Uh, even the doctor said uh, he wasn't going to make it. Uh, Y'all ain't hear me yet. Uh, they said he wasn't going to make it. Uh, but as everybody uh, began to celebrate uh, that Bo uh, was asked uh, what brought him back, uh, Bo uh, was asked uh, Bo, uh, in your coma, uh, what brought you back? Uh, he said, let me let y'all know. Uh, Bo said, uh, Bo said uh, that he wanted to give up uh, while he was in a coma. Uh, he wanted to throw in the towel uh, while he was in a coma. Uh, but he couldn't. Uh, he couldn't throw in the towel. Uh, he couldn't give up. Uh, they said, why, Bo? Uh, he said, because hope uh, wouldn't let him go. Uh, y'all ain't caught that yet. Uh, he said, hope uh, wouldn't let him go. Uh, hope kept on talking to him. Uh, hope kept on encouraging him. Uh, hope said, I love you. Uh, hope said, I needed you. Uh, hope said, wake up, Bo. Uh, get out of this situation. Uh, and I'm so glad uh, I just stopped by uh, to tell somebody uh, that hope uh, brought me back. Uh, hope uh, brought me back. Uh, and hope uh, uh, bring you back. Uh, it don't matter what you're in, uh, but you got to hope uh, bring you back. Uh, let hope uh, bring you back uh, out of what you in. Uh, and if you let hope uh, bring you back, uh, hope will lift you up. Uh, hope will help you get out of your rut. Uh, hope will help you get out of your situation. Hope will help you get out of your tightness. Uh, hope will help you get out of your circumstance. Uh, hope will help you turn it around. Uh, hope will dry the tears from your eyes. Uh, hope will let fear leave your life. Uh, hope will put blessings in you. Uh, hope will put joy on the inside. Uh, hope will put a praise in your mouth. Uh, hope will put clapping in your hands. Uh, hope will put stomping in your feet. Uh, hope will give you joy on the inside. Uh, I don't know about you, uh, but I know one thing uh, on this morning uh, that hope is not canceled. Uh, hope is not canceled, uh, but hope is uh, still on the inside uh, because God is uh, yet alive. Uh, God is uh, yet able. Uh, God is uh, still a good God. Uh, God still uh, keeps on blessing you. Uh, God still uh, keep on making a way. Uh, God still uh, keep on doing uh, what he doing. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Hope he is not cancer. I said hope he is not cancer. Hope he is not cancer. 
go out today and say, thank God that I still got hope. Thank God that I'm still living on hope. Thank God that I still hope that God going to do it, that God going to bless me, that God going to turn it around. And before you know it, I say, before you know it, before you know it, things don't work die for you before you know it god done did it for you before you know it god done bless you and i just want you to know what you're gonna do how you gonna act when the lord has been good to you are you gonna bless him are you gonna praise him are you gonna give him glory are you gonna magnify him are you gonna lift him up are you gonna rejoice tell him thank you tell him thank you tell him Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, yeah, 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 hope he is not cancer, I said hope he is not cancer, but hope is still yet alive. And you just got to believe in God. And let that be your testimony. That hope brought me back. Yes, sir. That hope brought me back. I was through and I thought it was all over. But hope came along and brought me back. And I thank God that I still got hope because hope has not been canceled. Don't you believe that? Don't you let the devil fool you? Don't you let the devil trick you? Don't you let the devil pull you in? Don't you get sucked into that thing? But you got to know that God is yet alive. And God is yet able. Hope is not cancer. God still got it on the calendar. I say God still got it on the calendar. And whether God got it on the calendar, I ought to rejoice and be glad in it. I ought to be glad and give him praise and I ought to give him glory. Why? Because of some say, I'm going to praise him the more and more. That's where it's at. You got to praise him more and more. And let him know that you appreciate that hope is not canceled. I say hope is not canceled. God bless you. Heaven keep you as our prayer. We pray that this word of God has touched your heart and mind on today. To encourage you to let you know that hope is not canceled. Everything else around you may be getting canceled. Getting postponed. Getting deleted. But hope is not canceled. Hope in Jesus Christ has not been canceled. We may not be worshiping in the traditional way, but we still getting the word out and still giving God praise and still giving God glory. We still hearing songs of Zion. We still hearing the word being declared and the truth of God being manifested all over the world and all over the country. And we still letting God know we appreciate him, that we thank him, that we love him, that he's still been good to us. I can declare and I can decree that hope is not canceled in my life. And you ought to do the same thing and say, God, I thank you that hope is not canceled, but better is on the way. If you don't know the Lord and the partner you're seeing on this morning, I offer you the hope of the world, Jesus Christ. Just pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart, come into my mind, come into my soul, come into my spirit come into my body. Lord, save me. Lord, forgive me for all my sins and all my transgressions. I want to live for you. I want to walk in you. I want to be your child. I want to be born again. Save me, Lord. Save me and receive me into your kingdom. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. That's it. And you're now part of the body of Christ. Let me pray for you, those of you that feel like hope is gone. Feel like your hope is on the edge. Feel like your hope is low. Feel like you are depleted. Feel like you are drained. I want to pray with you. I want to pray for you. I want to believe God for you. I want you to get out of that rut. I want you to get out of that depression. I want you to get out of no oppression. I want you to get out of what you in and begin to steal hope in the name of the Lord. Father God, in the name of Jesus. God, we pray right now for those that are feeling hopeless on this morning, that feel like hope is canceled. But God, let them know that hope is not canceled. They may be unemployed. They may be in a situation. They may be 
in, in the situation of a hospital. Maybe God may have the coronavirus, maybe sick in their body, maybe cancer, maybe any kind of disease. Maybe a family member, maybe a problem in their home, maybe a problem on their job, problem in their life, in their neighborhood, in their mind, in their spirit. But God, let them know that hope is not canceled, that you are yet on the throne, that you are yet alive, that they still can have the victory in you, God. They still let them know that they can trust in you. They can lean and depend on you on this morning, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Help them, Lord, to know that you are still God and there is no other God beside you. That you still got all power in your hand and you can turn things around for them. You can bring them out. You can deliver them. You can set them free. Let them know that hope has not been canceled. But it's relevant to their lives. In the name of Jesus, sir, I decree and declare that hope come back in your life. I decree and declare that hope turn your situation around. I decree and declare that your hope bring you out of that rug, bring you out of that down, bring you out of that situation. That in the name of Jesus, that in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, that you be free, that you be healed, set free and delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. We believe God for you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Right where you're at, you ought to give him some praise. You ought to begin to just clap your hands. You ought to just begin to lift your voice. You ought to begin just to raise your hand and tell God thank you. That's it. Give him praise. That's it. Give him praise. Give him praise. Right where you're at. Don't matter where you're at. God's power can still go where you're at. God's power can still touch you where you're at. God's power can still deliver where you're at. God's power can still heal where you're at. In the name of Jesus, give him praise. Go ahead and give him glory. Give him honor. That's it. God been good to you. God didn't bring you this far to leave you. He's still with you. He's still with you. He's still with you. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, over to God. God bless you. We pray you have a wonderful day in the Lord. And remember that hope is not canceled. Join us every Sunday right here at 1015 a.m. for our online live stream service. And share this link with your family and friends www.worshipwithmtcalvary.org forward slash live. God, may God keep you. May God help you along the way. And don't you ever forget that you don't have any trouble, but all you need is faith in God. Until the next time, may the favor of the Lord bless you and keep you is our prayer. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. And God, we give you glory. And we give you honor for this day. We thank you for this worship service. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you for your anointing. God, you still touching somebody right now. God, you still delivering somebody right now. God, you still setting somebody free right now. In the name of Jesus. Do it, Lord. Continue to do it. Look on those, Father, that are on the prayer list. Look on those that are on special prayer list. Look on those that are bereaved. Look on those that are sick. Father God, just touch it right now. God, just do great and awesome things. Turn things around for them in the name of Jesus. And we give you the name of praise, give you the name of glory, give you the name of honor. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest rule and abide with you henceforth, now and forever. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Because hope, 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 hope is not canceled. Until the next time, God bless you. Open up your mouth and say, and I, 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 and I,